Hi, and welcome to this week's Torah, the first for the year 5779. In this week's set, we read about Noah and the flood that befell the earth and destroyed almost the entire world other than Noah and everybody who was inside his ark. And the Pasuk tells us two different things. As Noah walks into the Teva, the Torah tells us Noah and his sons and Noah's wife and Noah's Why sons' wives made their way into the Teva. On the way out, Noah and his wife went out, and then Noah's sons and their wives went out. And Rashi comments on the difference between them when sometimes we group Noah together with his wife, and sometimes we group Noah together with his sons, that there was a difference. As Noah went into the Teva, as Noah went into the ark, it was forbidden for him and for his children to engage in any marital relationships with their wives during the time they were in the Teva. Why? Because the world around them was crumbling. The world around them was going through a disaster, an Armageddon. It was being destroyed and it was going to be flooded by God. And so God felt, yes, maybe you're getting saved on the one hand. But on the other hand, if you get saved and you don't think about everybody else, that's frivolous. That's wrong. And I think within that lies a tremendous message. Many times there are situations that we can not change. You look out at some of the suffering out there. You look out at some of the arguments, the fights, and other things that are created around you. And you say to yourself, there's nothing I can do to help these people. And whilst it is true that there's nothing you can do to help these people, in the same way it was true that Noah and his children had no way of saving the rest of the world, it is not true that we should look away. It is not true that we should turn around. It is not true that we should ignore it and just continue with our lives making believe these things don't happen. Because they do, and they don't happen in a vacuum. And if we are callous, and we don't think about these things, and we just don't care about these things, then we've lost part of our humanity. And that's what God was teaching Noach, and that's what Noach teaches us. Noach, even when he couldn't save The world needed to be bizarre, needed to be in pain about the destruction that was happening in the world. And we as well need to feel other people's pain, need to learn to empathize, to sympathize, and even if we can't, to just feel them. I was recently speaking to somebody about an issue, and when I finished speaking about the issue, the mallet man just gave a loud groan. Oi. And I said, what happened? And he says to me, nothing. Nothing happened to me, but I'm listening to your issues and I'm feeling your pain. And so I want to be with you in that time of pain. We need to learn to be with others in their pain, whether actively and for them to know, or even if they don't know, just to feel their pain, to be with them and to understand that when other people go through pain, we can't just look away. Wishing you all a very good chance.